Road is one of my favorite brands, not because it just rolls out really great products, but it also rolls out really great updates to existing products. You don't feel like you're getting left behind or that they are just waiting for the feedback to come in to launch another newer product that you would have to buy. Today, they are rolling out key updates to the Roadcaster video that can change how you use it and how it helps you with your live broadcast event coverage, and even your podcast. Hi, I'm Coach Abby. I talk about tech techniques, lifestyle, and life lessons. And currently, we are building a small studio that we call Nerd Herd, where we help creators and communities generate content, create tournaments, live events, and uh, broadcast their special occasions. Now, the Roadcaster video has been integral in our uh, projects and how we are able to generate a lot of content for um, deserving content creators. When we started working with Rode and added the Rodecaster video to the setup, one of my main concerns was how to fully utilize its uh, switching capabilities for video. Back then, I only had one camera and it, it, it didn't even have like a clean HDMI output. It was the Canon M50 and it was the first generation camera. So I had to like jump over hoops to be able to use that and uh, use that as an HDMI in. Later on, we picked up another camera that has clean HDMI output, and now that's what we're using as our main shooter for our talking head videos. Now, I still recognize that there's a lot of things that we could do with the Roadcaster video if only we had more cameras, more gear, and uh, a better way to like connect everything inside the Roadcaster video. But with Rode's latest firmware update, without any subscription fee, you can just install the update on your Rodecaster video and harness the power of NDI. NDI will allow you to cast and send video transmission signals into the Rodecaster video using multiple devices. And the first device that we're going to talk about and demonstrate is something that might be just inside your pocket. If like me, you have an iOS device or maybe multiple ones that you're not even using anymore, this update is for you. If you haven't installed the Road Capture app on your iOS phones, it's time to do so. Why? Because with the Road Capture app, you can actually use any iPhone with the Road Capture app as an NDI transmission tool, meaning your camera, the front or the rear or both, can be used and added as another camera option for your Roadcaster video. The Road Capture app is absolutely free. Setting this up is very easy. You just have to make sure that the Roadcaster video is tethered on a router and network that's the same as the one you are using for your iPhone or your iPad. Now, if they're on the same network, then the Roadcaster video can recognize the camera of your iPhone as a source camera for the Roadcaster video. It's very simple. Once you have the Roadcaster app open, you can just swipe over to the left and select NDI cast on. For demo purposes, so let's add an input source on camera four. With the NDI update on the Roadcaster app, you can utilize multiple iPhones and link it up to your Roadcaster video. No need for unnecessary updates that you cannot afford yet. And with the Road Capture app, you can actually use both the front and rear cameras and send two separate transmissions to your Roadcaster video. That means for every iPhone that you have, you can add two camera angles to your Roadcaster video. No additional cables and adapters, no subscription fees to NDI. All you need to do is connect to the same network and everything will be just right. The next thing about NDI is, yes, you guessed it right, if they can do it for your iPhone, they can do that as well for your PTZ cameras or any NDI-capable cameras that you have. Now, the same rule applies. You have to be connected to the same network. And um, if you are, then the Roadcaster video can easily detect your um, PTZ camera as an input. In our case here, we have linked up the Canon PTZ N100 camera and we have added it to scene number one. One quick side note before we talk about the PTZ camera is um, now you have 
the option to have rounded corners for your um, picture in picture and for your frames. And that's what we can see here on the screen. Anyway, the smaller uh, picture right there is actually coming from a uh, transmission from the Canon P TZ N100 camera that we have. But currently it's really zoomed in on a setup that we have behind us. For demonstration purposes, because uh, currently we have a situation where I can't leave the house here, so we'll just pretend that we are um, doing a live broadcast of a concert. So really set up a miniature um, black pink type of stage here so that you can just imagine having the Canon N100 as your PTZ camera for an actual stage, but uh, it's really zoomed in. So, uh, and you're really far from the stage. So let's do that. Um, let's play around with some of our <laughs> Lanzi items so we can make it look like an actual concert. Now let's add some color. And of course, a concert is not enough without a bit of smoke. So imagine having a PTZ camera for your live events. That's really a good option. But the beauty of a PTZ camera is not just its zoom capabilities, but also the fact that you can pan and tilt as well. That just means that with one camera, you're able to capture multiple angles without having someone manning a tripod or moving around. With the Roadcaster video firmware updates, you can actually set up um, scenes based on the PTZ control. So if you add an input source, which is um, a PTZ camera, you can just go down here at PTZ controls, make sure to enable PTZ. And if this is one angle that you want to work with, you can just uh, click save and click the number. Um, you have eight options, so let's use this as one. And uh, if you are using it as a scene, you can just go to that scene. And in the camera option, camera one, we will select angle number one as our um, view. Now for scene B, we can set up a different PTZ um, angle for this one. And here, if you wanna check that out, it's PTZ controls number two. This is the angle that we have for number two. This is number one. This is number three. This is number four. There. So it means that within um, one camera option on the Roadcaster video, you can have eight other PTZ default angles and zoom um, capabilities. So that just means that for one camera, one PTZ camera, you can set up eight different presets and eight different looks um, when um, covering an event. Now, while using the Roadcaster video, I can just click on a scene and the PTZ camera will change up and respond accordingly. That feature will um, allow you to set up presets and not have to use a joystick when changing angles and just rely on the roadcaster video as your controller for both the output and also your ptz camera or cameras aside from the ndi updates there are also updates to the borders you can use rounded borders now there's also an option to do a key mask and layer stretch this is really good for um, adding uh, like a lower thirds or um, a bumper for um, subtitles or um, like names for your um, hosts or guests. And now you can also use an HDMI input as an overlay. As someone who also uses the Roadcaster Pro 2 for when we have um, a lot of guests on the podcast that we produce, I'm so happy that now there's also a better integration of the auto switching for the Roadcaster Pro 2 and the Roadcaster Duo. That means that um, all the separate audio inputs can be linked up to your auto switching feature, which wasn't um, available as an option before. Now, I know this video is not um, all-encompassing and there's some other features that we may not be able to 
um, discuss further. But do check out the website to make sure that you're updated with all the firmware updates and upgrades that are available to all the Roadcaster video users out there. I really wanted to be one of the first to be able to explain these updates to you, especially the NDI features for the iOS and for um, the PTZ cameras. So I'm really glad that I could share this experience with you guys. But if you have any comments, any questions, let me know in the comment section and I'll make sure that I'll do my best to answer those and also um, get excited with what's in store for the future updates and upgrades from Road. Now, this video is not sponsored. However, Road has been a partner for our production. Now, I would like to send out a huge shout out as well to Canon Philippines for letting us um, loan out and test the Canon PTZ N100. Again, this has been me, Coach Abby. Thank you for um, learning with me and I'll see you in our next video.